All right, we're ready to uh, get ready for the Chargers. A little bit of a short week with the Monday night and the travel back. But uh, we've adjusted today a little bit and uh, getting ourselves ready to go. They've got, obviously, Phil, Phillip Rivers been doing it at a high level for a long time. Good football player, a lot of explosive passes down the field. Keenan Allen had a tremendous season. Um, now Gordon, very good back. And their, their rush is as good as any in the league. So good football team and uh, should be a good game. Questions? Crabtree, his snaps were down on Monday. Was he hurt or is that uh, what was the, the deal with that? No, no he, uh, I think he uh, was bothered a little bit at the end of the game with a hamstring. Um, but, you know, missed, missed opportunity. I think he had one that would have been close to a touchdown, if not a touchdown. Um, so, yeah, and that's what it was. Derek's talked the last couple of weeks about details, little details being an issue. Um, yeah. Why things haven't gone right. How, yeah. how does that happen? Is it sort of something that's crept in, become a habit? How does that happen? And how, how do you go about fixing that as a coach? Yeah, that's, uh, that's the difference between winning and losing. You know, the execution of basic plays. So you get a you get a design to get a guy free. The guy runs the right route. The quarterback throws the ball on time. It all works works together, you know. And um, and the and the line obviously has to give them time to get that done. So all those things happen, and then you have a successful play. And any one of those things can throw it off. And um, we we've basically taken turns with how that is or what that is that's caused that. But it's, it's it, the bottom line is execution. That's why when you ask me, you know, there's a lot of, lot of occasion to like, what I feel is like you're trying to def defend from blaming, because you don't want to blame. It's not, it's not really about blaming, it's about teaching and, and coaching. Um, so, but to recognize that that's what it is. You're, you know, guy ran a wrong route at a bad time. Guy, you know, broke down in protection at a bad time. Quarterback maybe didn't see a guy come open with, that he could have. He was doing his normal progression that he's supposed to do. So the, things like that, they uh, a little bit here, a little bit there, and it adds up uh, to, to inefficient play and performance. In light of some of those execution issues, what have you made of what Todd has been able to do in his first year as an offensive coordinator? Well, you know, obviously a lot of things have gone uh, – in a negative direction, uh, but I, I don't think, I, I, I do know the guy's super bright. He's gonna be a real good coach in this league and um, I believe in him, you know? So those are not things that people wanna hear right now because the, the reality is we've underperformed offensively this year and so there's gonna be, naturally there's gonna be those kind of questions. And I think we, we all understand that. I understand it, he understands it, um, but doesn't, doesn't change my my belief. It's what I know, and um, and you know. But there have been some a tough set of circumstances, and uh, things have not gone real smooth, and and um, not what we're looking for. But this is really about the Chargers. I'd really rather keep it on. We can get into season-ending talk when it's appropriate next week. I'd like to keep this about going out and finding a way to beat the Chargers. I know that uh, David Emerson has been working a while to get onto that field. Play this Sunday, given his last chance. Do you think yeah. he will practice today and to have to gauge whether or not he can have that? Yeah, I mean today's going to be a little bit of a walkthrough. So um, you know, today's not the important day, but tomorrow and Friday would be. So he's he's been close, gotten to, to where we thought he could, and then didn't quite make it. So yeah, hopefully he'll be back. Seemed like that was the Richard Nelson's best game of the year on Monday. I don't know if you felt that way. But thought he played well. Richie, yes. What did you see out of him on Monday and why? Why the difference? Why was he better? I don't know. He had, he had the Christmas spirit. He was feeling he, he was feeling good. Uh, he um, he was active. Um, you know, he had the one tip ball that he picked. He had his hands on a couple others. Uh, came up and, and showed up in the run run defense, and, and I thought he tackled aggressively in the game. So I thought it was one of his better performances this year. But we've been we've been talking to him. I mean, these guys got now 36 interceptions. So it was like, come on, man, we got to get your 36 interception. And uh, happy for him to get that done. You know, he's a proud guy. He's worked hard. Um, he cares a great deal. 
I was happy to see him play so well. What's the biggest difference you've seen no interceptions in the first 10 games and now Catching the ball, uh, playing a little more aggressively, you know, a little more um, confidence, I think. I think the guys feel good about the way they're preparing and and uh, competing on, on game days. You guys had uh, a lot of success running the ball against a good rushing defense by kind of lining up with some tackles. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you with that oh, play. Uh, you guys had a lot of success running the ball against a good rushing defense by uh, bringing in you know, heavier personnel. How much of that was just dictated by the conditions and how much of it was sort of like an attitude of Tampa? Yeah, I think there was an attitude set early in the week that we wanted to be physical. You know, the two things that I talked about with the team is we were going to run it, we were going to be physical, um, and we needed to start fast in that building because they really have jumped on people there. So you know, looking back, those are two of the things that we said we had to do. Uh, the line the line did a nice job. They've been, they've been physical all year, um, and we played more, I would call, big boy ball on Monday night. You mentioned after the game again. Um, yeah. Was it uh, one, another one of those scenes that shouldn't be overlooked in terms of his continued playing through what he's gone through? Without a doubt. What he's given up for the team right here the last couple of weeks is uh, it's extraordinary. There aren't a lot of people that are willing to do that. So he's been there for his team and his teammates and, uh, and performing well. So it's not like a guy that's making it to the game and, game and then not performing and actually hurting the team. He's He's performing well. It's, uh, it's admirable you know, for him to tough it out, deal with the pain, and, and make it to the game and play as well as he has. Given how small some of those details are and how close some of these games are, how close or far away do you guys feel you were being how good you wanted to be this year? Yeah, I mean, that's a good question. I mean, I think the bottom line is um, I look at that game, I look at any game that we played this year, and I didn't feel like. Um, I didn't feel like it was overwhelmingly uh, um, an impossible task for us. I mean, I, you know, we go into that game, that's, that team's 13 and two. Really, I feel like we let one get away. And, um, you know, it's, it's kind of been that way a little bit for us this year. It's been a, been a tough year. Um, but it's, not a, it's not, a matter of, not a matter of anything of guys not wanting it, not working hard, not trying, any of those kinds of things. It's just crazy to even think that way. It's just. Basic execution is the difference between being happy and, and not. And, um, you know, in some key moments, we've had some unfortunate situations happen. You know, ball on the ground, you know, ball intercepted, a missed field goal, things like that are not what you need to do if you want to win those games. And, and, uh, and we know that because we, we had an example last year of us going and closing games like that and winning those things. So uh, it comes down to making plays, and I think – the biggest difference in, in, in really in 2017 and 2016, the, the biggest number one thing is the turnover differential. And it showed itself again on Monday when we're, I think, minus three in the game. And it's hard to win an NFL game being minus three. You talked about five weeks ago about the team playing with a sense of urgency. Yeah. Do you feel like they did? And, and yeah. Carry over to the final game, the game the yeah. Well, it means a lot to us. You know, it. Uh, it's our last opportunity to come together, this group of men, last time we'll be together. And um, so, yeah, it's a great opportunity for us to finish the year the right way, uh, come, come together and play well. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, I mean, the, I don't think there's any doubt. Last couple of games have been like what you, what you look for in terms of effort and energy put out. Now the execution gets cleaned up a little bit and it, you know, it, it goes really well. So that's, that's what we do, you know, as, as a coaching staff, I think the number one thing for us to continue to do is to build, to build belief and to continue to work hard, and, and, um, and that's what we're doing. You've, with that drop off in turnover differential, there's been a drop off actually in field position. Yeah. On Monday. There not were, on Monday. Not on Monday. Yeah. Uh, there were a lot of opportunities in that regard. Yeah. You no points in any of those drives. All right. Been not scoring, or just the way those drives ultimately didn't culminate in points. Didn't those revealing in any regard in terms of the inability to take advantage of those opportunities, just the way the execution fell short on those? Yeah, well, again, I think uh, we repeatedly gave ourselves an opportunity, you know, being right there knocking on the door. And, um, you know, you need to take advantage of those opportunities and you go home happy. Yeah. Um, you talk a lot about 
lot on defense about pre-snap, disguising certain things from a special team standpoint, kickoff return, when the opposition is so clearly avoiding Cordero, and that's been the case multiple times this season. Is there anything that you can do pre-snap to try to get the ball in his hand still, even though you know going into it they're going to want to kick it a little higher, a little, little less? Are you, looking, are you looking for a spot on the staff? <laughs> is that what you're getting <laughs> I'll let you take that up with Coach Seeley when the next time you get a chance to talk to him. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you. All right, appreciate it.